Sarah Manoresi and welcome to Two for Tuesday where I take one ingredient and use it for two reasons. And I have my um, oven hood going on right now because I am making chicken sausage. And I love chicken sausage. I like turkey sausage too. But these are probably some of my favorites. It's a hot Italian sausage and, um, and then a mild one so that, you know, like my kids aren't really into a lot of spice. But I can do all of them at the same time and then use them in the various um, recipes that I am making. So for tonight, I am making, for example, and I'm going to turn these while I'm talking to you, I am making a vegetable, kind of a take on a primavera. I have these that will be ready to go in a little bit. I wait till they're about 160 degrees internal temperature, um, so that they're cooked all the way through. And then um, I have some vegetables over here that are marinating in a beautiful balsamic vinaigrette that has olive oil, lime juice, and garlic and salt and pepper. Isn't that pretty? And then the original recipe didn't call for pasta, but you know, um, I love my pasta. And there are some great options out there for whole wheat pastas that this works really well with, either a penne or butterfly noodles as we call them in our house, which are really far fatty noodles. So um, that's one way that I really like to use this. It's also great for breakfast sausage as well. So whatever leftovers I have, if there are any leftovers, I can make either a hash with it or just have it with a side of some um, egg whites or an egg white omelet is usually what I love to eat. So um, it pairs really well that as well. Um, you can always add it to other pasta dishes as well. There's one that has kale in it and it's just really fabulous. And what's great too is that, you know, it used to be that you could only get some random chicken sausage here and there, but now they make so many different flavors and turkey sausage as well that you can pair it with some of your favorite ingredients and swap out the fattier pork versions of them and not lose any of that flavor or taste. So those are two of my favorite recipes and a couple ways that I like to use them. Um, like I said, you can cook them all right now and use all of the ingredients now or you can use some in the morning as well or whenever you're going to use it again. But then I only have to cook it once and then use it again later in the week. Anyway, I hope you're having a great day and I will talk to you later. Bye!